find the interval of convergence and the radius of convergence for the following power series. So my first one's gonna be f of x equal to n going from one to infinity, two x plus four raised to the n over n cubed. So we're gonna proceed with the ratio test. So I'm gonna take our sequence, wherever I have an n, I put an n plus one, and then we're gonna take the term with just n and flip it over. All right, so what'll happen? Our 2x plus 4 to the n plus 1 over 2x plus 4 to the n. That's going to collapse to a 2x plus 4 in absolute values. And then my term on the bottom, the n plus 1 cubed, I can expand out as n cubed plus 3n squared plus 3n plus 1. Good, divide top and bottom here by n cubed. And that's going to reduce this to 1 over 1 plus a bunch of things over our powers of n. So as I take the limit as n goes off to infinity, I'm just gonna be left with my 2x plus four in absolute value. So ratio test says we'll have convergence when this term is strictly less than one. So let's decode that. So this inequality here with the absolute value, the way we decode is I just take the one, drop the absolute values, and then I put a minus one on the other side. I wanna get rid of that four, so I'm gonna add minus four to everything. So I'm gonna have minus five less than 2x less than minus 3, and then I'm going to divide by 2 through everything. Since 2 is a positive number, multiplying or dividing with the inequalities will have no effect. If you used a negative number, then you'd have to switch all the directions. So it's going to leave me with minus 5 halves, strictly less than x, strictly less than minus 3 halves. Okay, we have to check the endpoints to see how we get those equalities into the picture. If I check x equal to minus 3 halves, well, then we're gonna be looking at the series for one over n cubed, and that's definitely gonna converge. That's gonna be a p series with p equal to three. So we're gonna get this equality here. Next, we're gonna try x equal to minus five halves. So that's gonna give me the series for minus one to the n over n cubed. And you have two ways you can do that. You could do the alternating series test. You'd have to show your three conditions. So we'll skip that. Or I could just pull out the absolute convergence test, which says if I have a series, I check the series with the absolute value signs in. If that thing converges, then your original series converges. So for minus one to the n over n cubed, if I throw away the minus signs, I'm just getting one over n cubed. We already know that converges. So if I put the minus signs back in, absolute convergence test says that'll converge also. So we're gonna get minus five halves for the other endpoint. So that's gonna be an, an equality over there also. I draw the picture. So notice our center is equal to two. Your center is always gonna be what you get if you set the expression under the power of n equal to zero. So even though it may not be clear that this is an x plus two here, I could factor that two out and that would be a two to the nth power out in front of everything. So center is gonna be x minus minus two, center is the minus two. Okay, or you just plot the endpoints and then the center is definitely gonna be the center. Anyway, distance from minus two to minus three halves, is gonna be one half, so that's gonna be my radius of convergence. Okay, let's try another one where we have the fraction out in front. So f of x going from one to infinity, one third x minus two raised to the nth power over n cubed. Again, we proceed with the ratio test and we'll shorten up the work here since dealing with the n cubed will be exactly like we did in the last case. So it's gonna leave me with absolute value of a one third x minus two and ratio test is gonna say this'll converge whenever we're strictly less than one. So we take our one third x minus two, strictly less than one the way we decode is just to put a minus sign on the other side, and then you can drop the absolute value signs. So what do we do? I wanna get rid of the minus two. So I'm gonna add a two to both sides. That gives me a one going to three. And then we wanna get rid of the three. So I multiply everything through by three, and that'll give me three strictly less than x, strictly less than nine. So we wanna check the endpoints, so I get the equalities back. Okay, checking the endpoints. Same exact thing as last time, we're gonna have the series for one over n cubed, and the series for minus one to the n, one over n cubed. So it'll be a p series with p equals three, and then we can apply the absolute convergence test to the second one. All right, 
So that's going to say we have our equalities also. I draw the picture, and then you'll note, okay, our radius of convergence is going to be half of this, so that's just going to be a 3. 